and see if I can do this without hitting the damn stop button on the camera again. Uh, he was right uh, as far as which resistor was causing the problem, but he went the wrong way on it. Uh, that's the resistor right there, R42. But what finally got rid of uh, all of the motor boating was I increased the resistor to 1.2 meg. And let me show you why. If you can see there now, well, I should have made a picture of it before, but there's no chopping in the signal. When it was too low, uh, it was chopping the signal, and that's why you were hearing the motor boating. And what the problem was, evidently, is that the input, the gain on that section of this chip uh, was not what it was supposed to be. Uh, I, I guess it was too low. Let me show you in the circuit what I'm talking about. Turn the radio down a little bit more. If you look at the circuit here, R42 is a 100k ohm resistor going to ground. And basically what that does is cut down the signal that's coming in here to pin 6. Okay? And what was happening is that uh, the signal was getting cut uh, when it got too strong instead of just being uh, lowered just instead of the gain just going down so the automatic gain control was was cutting off in other words the threshold was being reached too soon so what I did was increase R42 right there to a 1.2 meg ohm okay and once I increased R42 to a 1.2 meg ohm then I was getting enough signal on pin 6 to uh, make the AGC work properly. So then it, it quit motor boating. Uh, I'm gonna turn it back up a little bit and let you hear it some more. This receiver is quiet in between signals, but <clears throat> you don't miss anything. All right, now listen to your radio in between signals. I'm going to switch over to my Ranger now. See the signal strength on this radio? Hear all that noise? Hear that hash in between signals? Well, here, let me change channels. Not even that one's busy now. Alright, there's one that's not busy. Hear that hash in there? That right there. Hear that? Now let me switch back to your radio. I'll just switch to 39. Hear how quiet that damn thing is? God, I wish that 2970 was like that. I'm going to look into modifying the receive circuit so that uh, it imitates this one. I think you're going to be happy with it now. Don't want to sell it back to me, do you? <laughs> Jesus. 
Good God Almighty, he's way off frequency. This is on 39. Now it's uh, about seven o'clock at in, in the evening over here. Already dark outside, but I'm getting lots of skip. I cannot believe the receiver on this damn thing, dude. This is almost as good as my Cobra 148. That's that guy that's off frequency. What's this? I'll go up to 61, then you can understand me. Yeah, you might as well go back. The other one can't nobody hear you. All right, I'm gonna get back on frequency. There's 38 again. Jesus. <laughs> oh well. He must have had somebody with a golden screwdriver in there. <laughs> he is ten KC's high. Anyway, here's yours. It's working perfect. All right. Well, sorry you had some trouble with it, and sorry I didn't catch that before I sent it to you. Um, but it's working really well now. And like I said, I changed R42 to a 1.2 meg ohm, not down in frequency. Uh, the problem was it wasn't getting enough signal, and uh, I should have uh, got a picture of the the uh, scope picture before. Let me turn the volume back up a little bit. You notice when they talk. See, there's, it, there's no chopping. It didn't cut it off. Before it was cutting, you could see it drop into zero uh, motor boating inside there. This uh, doing what it's supposed to now. Switch to DC and go up one. Turn. Six right there. Before it was chopping, chopping the signal down to zero. Somebody throwing a down carrier. But as you can see, this damn thing is working great. Alright, uh, 
I was probably this video is probably way too long. I might cut some up parts out of it, but anyway, you can hear the radio. Uh, it sounds great. I hope that guy blows his damn radio up. Tango Bravo 131. That, I think you said it enough, don't you? All right. I'm going to put the covers back on it, get it all boxed up, and sent back out to you. Sorry it took so long. I've just been overwhelmed with Christmas orders. Uh, and as soon as I found your box, I went straight to it and uh, started troubleshooting the problem. Uh, at first, I went down in resistance, and I couldn't figure out what the hell. I even thought maybe that chip was bad, or maybe uh, diode D30 or 31 were bad. But... Uh, I didn't see any chopping on those. I only saw the chopping on pin six. And I noticed that as I decreased the resistance, like it suggested uh, on Def Palm, the uh, chopping got worse. So I went the other way. And uh, it was still doing it a little bit at, uh, I think it was 560K ohm. So I increased it to uh, double that basically to 1.2 meg. And when I did that, boy, it just cleared right up. So the chip wasn't getting enough signal on that pin. And I think that's because uh, this is not exactly the same IC that they used in the other ones. This is a 324D. And what they're showing in this one is a TA6324 which is made by a different manufacturer than the one that they got in here. This one is a JRC. And when I looked up the, uh, the insides of the chip, of course they appear the same on the schematic, but I got to looking at the data sheet and uh, the uh, amplifier, the operational amp that's on those two pins, actually those three pins there, five, six, and seven, has a lower gain than what the uh, TA6324 does. So by increasing that resistance, we put more signal on pin six and that's all it needed. Okay, thanks again for the business and uh, I hope you enjoy the radio.